Hello, and welcome to day 135 of my daily drawing practice. I am Kyle, and today you're going to be working on both Tracer and Widowmaker. Um, there's been a bunch of stuff that I haven't finished on Tracer that I have been meaning to, but I've been working on doing a bunch of Widowmaker stuff, so I haven't gotten back to it. Um, the basic stuff that I want to hit today is I want to get her gloves more shaded and I want to get her straps here in the center part more shaded. Uh, I'm not going to commit to doing a ton of stuff on Widowmaker because this I don't know how long it's going to take me. Um, and I want to stream for about an hour tonight. I'll probably be stopping around 10. Um, but yeah. Let's do this. I've been uh, watching Game of Thrones, and I just watched the most recent episode tonight. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good. Some good shit is starting to happen. And I won't spoil it, but... Next week's preview looks like it's going to be very good. So I was noticing before I started that a lot of this like dark tan or not dark tan, dark gray stuff had more tan in it than I had, so I'm kinda of adding a little bit of like brownish color. I think it's easy to just look at like where shadows are and stuff and you lose some of the color temperature. I've noticed that I do that a lot. That's something I've been trying to notice, especially before I start, because I feel like once I start streaming, it's hard for me to notice certain things because I'm just concentrating on getting done what I had planned for that day. Um, I played a shitload of Uncharted 4 today. I think I'm really close to the end of the game. It's like a whole bunch of big shit's happening at the moment where I'm at. And then I'll get back to playing Dark Souls after that is all done. Uncharted 4 has been really good. Like, I can't stop, like, thinking about how beautiful it is. Definitely, like, super high up on the list of, like, best looking games. Definitely for PlayStation, probably for, like, PC and stuff, too. Which I know those PC folks will have issue with, but... I think it's true. But I think that makes sense because like a lot of, um, I can't remember what the name of it is. I think it's like Team Ice or something like that. But it's like Sony's like graphical internal team. They like are housed inside of Naughty Dog. And they're the ones that like help other first party and third party developers like do better graphics on the PS4 and like teach them how to use the system better. So it's not really surprising that Naughty Dog can get a lot out of the system because they have all these like top tier 
engineers that know specifically how to do PlayStation architecture graphics stuff. But it, the results are super impressive. Like the environments are crazy. The facial animations are super good. And there's still like some uncanny valley stuff that you hit every once in a while, but like overall it's pretty fucking cool. And I feel like in a generation or two, like I still can see some pretty big differences in like lighting when you go from the pre-rendered scenes, which there are not a ton of, to the in-game entirely. Like you can notice the light change, but they've got it fairly smooth. Like it's tough unless you're looking for it to notice uh, the differences. Aside from just the graphics, I've really liked the game as well. Like I was saying the other day, I still have issues with controls. Like there was uh, one firefight I was doing today where I kept on getting killed and I like was doing fairly well this one attempt. And like all I had to do is like jump up on this ledge and take out this guy. And I like hung from a box and ended up killing me because I was just like feebly hanging from a box in front of this guy that I was supposed to be killing and he just like shot me in the face. Stuff like that happening is kind of frustrating. And the gunplay is still not like great. It's Uncharted gunplay. It still feels a lot like Uncharted. But everything else is super good. And it's fun to play, like the um, climbing and all that stuff is really fun. Coming from a game that's like Dark Souls, which is like all about gameplay, to something like Uncharted, which is like majority about story kind of interesting There's so much like minor stuff that I hadn't done on the glove. I think after tonight, this whole thing will feel much more finished. really weird song. I 
I'm interested to see what they do with uh, Theon for the rest of this season. In Game of Thrones. I mentioned Jojo was really good this week. I just watched Kiznivers today. That's doing pretty good. I was afraid that that might not be as good as I thought it might be, but then it's been like the past couple weeks just pretty excellent. I'd say that and Jojo are probably my two favorite anime this season. I also really like Tonkotsu or Tonkatsu DJ, not Tonkotsu. Um, it's just kind of like a silly one about like a kid that wants to be a DJ, but his father runs a tonkatsu shop and he like learns that DJing is not too different from cooking tonkatsu. So it's about like him becoming a better DJ and tonkatsu chef. It's really weird. Like a super strange concept for an anime. So her gloves look like they actually have some like additional stuff going on with them that I didn't have in here. I always get like self-conscious when I'm in spots like this that I know don't look that good. I keep checking chat to make sure no one showed up. Oh god. Shows up they're gonna see my shitty process. I guess it doesn't really matter. So for these belts, I basically just need a spot that's slightly lighter on the side. Let's go see if I can do that to all of them real quick. The right more, but I'm not going to fix that. Yeah, I... Some like minor positioning stuff that I probably should fix, but I'm not going to. I'm not feeling it. This buckly part should be a little bit over to the right more, but I'm not going to fix that. Yeah, I. I didn't draw tracers, but 
got Widowmaker for that though, which I will be working on in a little bit, so you can do that in a bit. Butt cast every night. Here, I'll turn Widowmaker on so you can see it in the background as I move it around. There you go. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. It's like, why isn't this working? <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Completely neutral is not neutral when it comes to butts. Oh, thank you for the follow. Uh, cyanide. Appreciated. Adding this shading will help with like the depth of these belts and stuff too, which have been lacking, sorely lacking up until this point. This belt's also like weird that it like just gets thick for no reason, so I have to like fix this angle and stuff. Probably should be more. Tough, because it's like iridescent. Like the higher the angle, the more uh, reddish it becomes. Gotta be careful. Alright, so this belt is going to be completely fixed. I need to erase this shit. Yeah, I played probably like six hours of Uncharted 4 today. It was bananas. I think it was like six. Might have been more actually. I played for most of the day. But I'm like pretty close to the end now. It's a great game. Great, 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 great. Kind of like a weird smooth jazz thing happening. Hope everyone in chat has been having a good weekend. I don't want these to be like too detailed, so I'm just gonna put like a small amount of detail into these straps.
So I do want to get to working on Widowmaker tonight. Man, I can't fucking wait till Overwatch comes out. I'm going through like withdrawals. And I haven't even drawn the character that I actually play. I play Pharah most of the time. In Team Fortress, I was a soldier player. Someone was showing me the other day that uh, like Bastion, I guess, can like rocket jump with his cannon. I might have to give Bastion a shout out, even though like in beta he was like super OP. I know Overwatch. Uh... This sounds a little bit like Crystalis, which is like an SNK game for NES that I really liked. I don't think it is, but it has a similar sound to it. It's like one of my favorite NES soundtracks. I still listen to that pretty often. I think that's mostly good. I want to do that one last strap and then shade her other glove. And then we'll move over to Widowmaker for the rest of the stream. I need to find a picture of like what her tattoo says because I have no fucking idea and I was just like blind firing on the sketch. Trying to get like something sort of close. I might do a Google search before I start on her because I want to think I want to start detailing that arm. Come on. Fuck, pick up the color. For those of you that are new to my stream, most of the stream is me arguing with Procreate about it not picking up the color that I want it to. So if you're into that, you will definitely be a fan of watching me stream.
Yeah. I'm a I'm a huge software arguer. My specialty. I had one stream where I lost like two hours of work because I accidentally zoomed in on something. And when Procreate zooms in, or not zooms in, but like if you rescale something larger, um, it props everything outside of that area. So I was working on this like pretty detailed picture and I accidentally scaled in without thinking, without seeing it. And I thought I had just zoomed and then like a half hour later, I zoomed back out and half the photo was gone. I was like, uh, bitter tears of defeat. Seven? Seven what? Sorry, delay makes it hard to... Chat and know what I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for your condolences and support. After I finish with this tracer and uh, Widowmaker, I'm probably going to start doing... Hmm. I was thinking about it and I was originally going to do Hanzo, but I might want to try D.Va because I've never really drawn mechs before and I think I'd probably learn more about it. Maybe I'll do both of them. Maybe Reinhardt. not going to be for a little while though. I still have a lot to do in this painting. If you want to see any of the progress of this like earlier stages, I post everything daily to crummyfigures.tumblr.com which is my one year long art blog where I'm going to be posting my daily drawings for at least a year and then once a year is up we'll see if I keep continuing it. But I likely will because it's kind of becoming a habit but I'll be Right now I'm, I'm pretty harsh on myself and I won't let myself ever miss a day. So like after the first year, I might like miss a day here and there. It's been fucking hard to figure out time to schedule drawing every single, 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 single day. I said single so many times because it, that's how hard it's been. I don't know what these little things are. They're just kind of like little punch knuckles, I guess. Punch knuckle hype.
I think that's basically it for... Oh, fuck, I forgot the last strap. Last strap. Last strap time. Now, basically any drawing I'll be able to continue working on indefinitely. And like, all of this is basically me just getting away from a Dark Souls picture I've been working on. I feel like I could work on that for the rest of time, basically. It's so fucking detailed. Or it will be so detailed by the end. Ugh. I might bring that up really quick just to show... Chat. That's good enough for Tracer. Alright, I'm gonna hide her lair. And we're gonna get back to work on Widowmaker. Let me adjust my source photo. Alright, now I'm gonna start on this arm and try to figure out what the fuck what the actual fuck her arm is doing and what her tattoo looks like and then i kind of want to smooth out some of the stuff that's happening in, in her back because it's all like really choppy right now which this brush that i use like really makes things look choppy by default so if you want it smooth you have to like really attempt to get it smooth there's a lot of like bluish tone the reflections which I haven't added yet so I'm gonna, gonna like hint to edit for myself so I know to back to it and do it more later as we stated said already earlier tonight is gonna be a butt stream so I'll be working in areas near butts the chat will be happy Oh, right. I was going to show my Dark Souls picture really fast. Um, this is one that I started a while ago, and I still have a long way to go on it, but this is um, a drawing from like a screenshot that is the first boss in the game, basically. Uh, Udix Gunder. And it's going to take me the rest of time. Yeah, oh damn, it's gonna seriously take forever because I'm doing everything at the same detail like a screenshot would be. So everything has like super high detail. And every time I do like another detail pass, everything else looks like garbage. So then I have to go back in and do everything else. 
So next week will be my second week working at Crunchyroll. I use Crunchyroll like constantly, so having a job that's something that I'm super super into like this is it means a lot to me. Heck of a lot. I feel really lucky to, to finally have a job where it's something that I'm very, very passionate about. I use Crunchyroll like constantly, so having a job that's something that I'm super, super into like this is, it means a lot to me. Heck of a lot. Thanks. I'm pretty excited about it. In my past, I've had jobs at, at places that were never really stuff that I was super interested in. I've been a product designer for a while, which is something I'm, I'm really into. But like the subject matter of the stuff I was designing for was never really a subject matter that I was very interested in. Like for a while, I was doing stuff on Eventbrite. I worked there for like four and a half years. And I'm basically a hermit that would much rather just go home and do a Twitch stream than do much else for a live event type of situation. So not exactly a perfect fit for me. But like one of the things that I do when I go home is watch anime and being able to be a daily user of the product that I'm working on is super, super exciting. If that makes any sense. I feel really lucky to have this kind of opportunity. finally got my health insurance set up last week, so if I have to get back surgery again, I won't have to pay for it out of pocket. So that's exciting. Not having to pay for tens of thousands of dollars in medical bills out of pocket. Hooray! Last year I had back surgery and if I didn't have health insurance it would have cost like seventy or eighty thousand dollars or some fucking ridiculous amount. Google search to see if I can find out what her tattoo is supposed to look like.
There's a couple like cosplayer ones. Which might be close enough. Looks like C A U C H E M A R. I guess. All right. I'm going to definitely, definitely do this on another layer. I will likely fuck this up quite a bit. Why do both of these characters have stuff written on them? Like I had to do Tracer's pants that say Tracer. Oh. Widowmaker has this thing. Well, it wouldn't be a stream if I didn't accidentally erase a large portion of the drawing by accident. I'm going to do it in this color and then just uh, kind of experiment with colors and like go over stuff till it looks right because it's kind of like a multi, I think it's going to have multiple colors in the end. be easier if this thing were at a different angle and I could just like write it normally but it's straight up and down and if I turn the whole canvas then it makes other stuff harder to do so I'll just kind of fuck with it and erase to fix things I have done some amount of like practicing with lettering and to do that I'd use like a special and have it at a 30 degree angle or something. But here, my thing is at a 90 degree angle to the bottom. So it makes it much harder. And I'm basing this off of like a cosplayer's drawing on their arm. This might not be entirely accurate, and I'll have to like eventually go in, not tonight, and check. Hopefully, when I get my computer next week, I'll be able to take higher res screenshots. But I'll have to wait till the actual fucking game comes out. I also watched the newest episode of My Hero Academia tonight, which is an awesome anime. If you haven't watched that, I very much suggest it. Feels weird trying to do like lettering in an illustration on someone's arm with a very incorrect type of brush. Fuck, ran out of room. 
Um, see what we can do. All right. <laughs> Fit MAR. I might need to make this smaller. Yeah, it should really be at like this angle do this type of stuff, but then it makes lining up the bottoms of the letters way harder. That's all the kind of shit that I can fix. I'll fix it in post. I think these two things might need to be a little bit smaller. Seems pretty legit because when I move it into this position, it kind of like lines up with the weird sketch where I couldn't tell what I was actually looking at. A and the R at least. Obviously, this shit will all need to be cleaned up quite a bit. I'm going to make... I think all this is supposed to be a single word. I'm going to... Try to tighten it up a little bit. All right. Now, got that done. That was kind of stressful, actually, Jesus. Yeah, I am not going over my old glare, which is good. Thank you for your support, by the way, Cyanide. Appreciate it. Okay, so this stuff, I'm going to take this color, I'm going to alpha lock that. Shift it towards blue a little bit, and then start trying to. Whoop, that did not work at all. What the fuck? Oh, because I was on the wrong layer. Dur, 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 dur. So here I'm basically just trying to take the local color and shift it so it looks like it's more integrated with her skin.
I think I'll be like pushing and pulling on this quite a bit to get the right look. I don't want it too faded, but I don't want it too strong. And then I have to do all the other like, spider webby things. And I'm going to do that on a separate layer also. up on in there definitely gonna want this a little bit darker much smaller brush I'm just gonna kind of do rough ones at first and then again just like the last thing I can go in and change the actual colors of them afterwards using alpha lock. To better integrate into the skin regions. I don't know what this says. I think in the game she's like French, but I don't know if this is French or not. And I'm not trying to get this stuff exact. I'm just kind of making stuff that has the same kind of look. I'm not about copying 25 different intersecting lines and making sure they're all hitting in the exact right spot. It sounds boring as shit. Get the lines perfect that they just won't be the same lines or in the same spots I mean they're pretty close but there's like a lot of intersecting here that I don't want to figure out that looks pretty close Did I do that on the wrong layer? No, I didn't. I think. See? Now all that stuff can kind of blend in with the rest of it. It looks like on its own. So now, because I have that stuff, I can go color on top of this other shit so I can get rid of the pencil lines. But not go outside the lines.
pick up that color procreate For as much as I love this program, it's a very antagonistic relationship. It's constantly fighting me. I know what I want it to do, and it knows what I want it to do. It just refuses to do it sometimes. Yeah, her like, foreground colors are much, much lighter than the back area behind it. So I'm going to have to like darken most of her back as well to create the right depth here. And then in addition, this is like much more saturated as well. Bunch of people in chat all being super quiet except for cyanide over here hello chat welcome thank you for hanging out for a little bit work that needs to still happen on this gun there's like tons of machinery and little bits and bobs I said I was gonna go to around 10 I feel like I'm in a pretty decent stopping point uh, having Finished that tattoo, having fixed up Tracer quite a bit. Um, I think I might call it quits for the night. Thank you everyone for stopping by, and I'll have another stream tomorrow. I stream almost every day. Um, I save out all of my images for that day, and I post onto my blog, which is crummyfigures.tumblr.com if you want to have a look there. Um, and yeah, this has been day 135. Thanks everyone for stopping by and hopefully I'll see you again tomorrow. All right, later.